Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 48 in chapter 24. Chapter 24 is about capacitance, Dow Electric's electric energy storage. So there you can see, uh, initially we have a capacitor, C1, right? It's charged by a battery. This battery's potential is given as V. Mm -hmm. And then now, and so this uh, battery will charge this capacitor. And then, this uh, C1, capacitor C1, will connect it to another uncharged uh, um, capacitor C2. C2 is given as there. We need to determine the total storage energy before the two capacitors are connected, uh, after they are connected. And uh, what is the charge in the energy? So now, ca how can we see that? We can see initially, we just have this one, right? The capacitor C1 connected with the battery V. In this case, you can see it's very easy. We can straight forward write down the electric energy as one half C one V squared. In this case, the capacitor just C one, right? The potential is V. So input the known quantity, we get it there. Now in second cases, you can see this C one connected with C two. So what is conserved from the C one from the A to B? The charge. Do you agree? So at the initial, the charge. Uh, in the C1, capacitor C1, the charge in the capacitor C1 then will equal to the charge in the circuit of C1 and C2. Do you agree? Yes. So in this case, it tells us the charge equals, right? So we can see if we know the charge, how can we get the electric energy for B? So in this one, very straightforward, we can consider this is equal to the charge squared divided by 2C, right? This C is equivalent capacitance for the capacitor C1 and C2. Agree? Yes. So now the equivalent capacitors of C1 and C2 in parallel connection is e equals to C1 plus C2. You write it there. So this one, C is solved. Next question, how can you know the charge in the circuit of C1 and C2, this circuit? It is just equal to an initial charge in the C1, right? So C1 just times V equal to the charge in these capacitors, right? So this is C1 times V. Mm -hmm. Now you can see in this equation, Q is given, C is given, so we input Q and C inside. We input all the given quantities, get the answer there. The next one asks you what is the change in energy. So you use the final energy minus initial energy, you get answer there. Thank you.